Greetings to my 1,121 subscribers and of course you, my future subscriber. Tonight we are looking at a compass box. This will be my second one. I did a review of the Spice Tree. Quite an interesting one. A lovely one. Liked it. Um, check out the review at the end card. But tonight we are looking at the compass box Oak Cross. Bottled at 43% ABV, natural color, non chill filtered. I was a little bit surprised with that. Normally you associate a non chill filter with 46% ABV, but right on the bottle it says non chill filter, natural color, where it should be. And I love the idea that I don't have to go from website to website to find information on the compass box. Everything is right there on their website. The maturation, where does the whiskey come from? This is a blended malt, it is sourced and um, they give me that information. I will also share with you a screenshot of um, the different distilleries. Kleinlich is one of them, one comes from the Highland and one is an unpronounceable one, but I will get that to also during this review. So they give you all the information, the percentages, what percentage comes where. They use American oak cars and they use French oak cars. They give you all the information, refreshing in today's whiskey world where secrecy becomes a problem and finding out information sometimes is a very difficult. You might go to three, four websites and they give completely different information on whiskey. So it becomes a little bit complicated. For me, if I want information, I want to go straight to the source. I want to go look on the website, click on the bottle that I have, and they give me all the information that is relevant to the whiskey. Not playing the fiddle and giving me this outlandish um, nosing and tasting notes. I just want to see the facts. And I think they did an excellent job. I could find all of the information right there on their website. So great stuff on that one. So what they also added on their website, and I think it is a good, I just give you the facts and um, not something that's made up by somebody else. So they also give you a little bit of background information and they tell us, and I'm going to have to read it, is that um, all are aged in American oak cask before we place a portion into innovative hybrid cask featuring heavily toasted new French oak heads. These give the whiskey an added richness, spice-like complexity. Right there on the website, no fiddling around. So um, yes, I only got a sample. Um, and unfortunately, there was only a sample left of this bottle um, at my online store that I normally buy my samples, but I was quite happy to find another compass box sample. I bought the spiced, uh, uh, Spice Tree at the duty free shop in Johannesburg. Um, quite a reasonable price. Sometimes a little bit difficult to find a compass box here in Europe. Tonight it's all about the nosing and tasting. So I'm quite looking forward. Um, a lot of people have reviewed so many compass boxes. So I'm just putting my views on it. So on the nose, the compass box oak cross. Cheers. Now, natural color. And as you can see, um, no age statement, no idea how old the whiskey is. Um, but it is a very light straw color. Um, little sunshine color coming out of it. So on the nose, cheers. It is really nice. I've been chasing so many, for so many years, I've been chasing those sherry monsters. And um, I've, I've looked everywhere. <laughs> well, it felt like I've been looking everywhere for to get that perfect sherry monster whiskies. And then I was introduced to Glen Caddam 
and some um, Speyside whiskies and of course the Japanese whiskies and I completely fell in love with that bourbon mature or bourbon cask mature whiskies that lightness the fruitiness the summer in a glass type of whiskey this is it now I did a couple of reviews now of the space sites um, the spay burn coming to mind oh my word it is lovely uh, Japanese thing Japanese whiskey absolutely the lightness is there that um, apple note it's like walking down a apple orchard in summertime with some blossoms still on there with some apples in the, still there maybe a little bit of an apple pie that was just baked um, coming from a distance you know the cartoons where you have this wave of of smells coming to the people and they all go crazy when they smell something that's what i pick up on this one there's a little bit that fruitiness there's a sweetness there's a vanilla coming out not overly sweet that apple pie note is there a little bit of a cinnamon note appearing just a hint of it it's definitely summer in a glass for me there's a little bit of a honey note a light sweet honey note at the back and then a little bit of a hay bale like five hay bales that was just in a distance and somebody sat on it and you get that little bit of a hay smell coming in your direction oh this is really super nice on the nose it's, it's a subtle sweetness not overpowering vanillas I get that pear note also with the apple slash pear note but the pear note that is a little bit um, like canned pears where you have that sweet syrupy notes coming out but not again not overly sweet very well balanced a, a little bit of a perfumey note it's a fruitiness fruity flavors coming out a little bit of a furniture polish note a sweet furniture polish note wow i think it is just lovely on the nose definitely not a complex whiskey it is just a enjoyable whiskey on the nose i love that nice notes that subtle notes that sweet notes that's coming out that fruity notes that's coming out but that's what it is um, I don't think you're going to sit here for 20 minutes and all of a sudden find something completely different. It is just nice on the nose. But of course we need to drink it as well. And of course if you hear some people snoring, <laughs> it's my dog Rufy. She's been snoring away on the couch, something crazy. So I'm going to leave it in. I can't every time shout at her to wake up. <laughs> she gets very annoyed and then snores even more. So ignore the snoring. So on the taste, cheers. Sweet. Quite sweet actually. Um, I didn't think it will be that sweet on the taste as well. But it's a sweetness. And immediately I get a little bit of an oakiness coming out. Not a tannin. Well, a hint of a tannin coming out. But a sweet oak and um, a little bit of a fruity note on the first taste. Let me try again. It's a little bit of an oiliness. I'm a, um, I didn't think it's going to be oily. A little bit of an oily mouthfeel. Something that just covers your mouth and you are left with that little bit of a toffee note, a little bit of a caramel note, a little bit of an apple note, like an apple cider note in the end, a little bit of a honey note also coming out. And then after that, it all disappears very slow actually i get a little bit of that alcohol heat i little get the spiciness of the alcohol um, a little fuzzy feeling and then it slowly disappears and you are left with a lovely sweet aftertaste in your mouth quite nice on the taste as well but let me try again there's a little bit of a sour note as well just at initial two seconds a little bit of a sour note appearing and then it disappears into that little bit of an English toffee um, caramel type of note again nothing complex 
nothing that jumps out as um, wow this is something completely different that I've never tasted in my life or this is a complex one and I need to spend more time with this one I don't think this is what the whiskey is all about no idea what it will cost um, I will put the somewhere in the beginning or now I will put the cost of the bottle um, I completely forgot about the price so I will I will see what the price is when I do the editing and add the price. So for me, my thoughts on this whiskey, depending on the price, um, which I'm going to have to research afterwards, if it's a, a cheapest whiskey, definitely I will go buy a bottle. I think it is for me at a no age statement whiskey, if it's more than 50 euros for a bottle, there's no way that I'm going to buy it. Um, entry level whiskey. It is a drinkable whiskey, it's something that you can give to your non-whiskey friends and I'm sure they will appreciate it as well. So, lovely on the nose, lovely on the taste, not complex, but I keep on going back for more. Winter in Belgium, um, so I'm putting my summer in a glass, I haven't seen the sun for two weeks, so <laughs> my sun is going to be in the, in the glass. One more try, dangerous one, something Mm. it is just a lovely one and um, yeah give it a try let me know what you think about this compass box oak cross leave a comment which compass box for you is the best one and of course um, as usual remember to like and subscribe and help the channel out to reach the 2000 mark see you next time cheers